Okay, I gave everybody a garden update. Today's June 29th, 2011. Turns out that we planted black diamond watermelon. We thought we planted Jubilee, but we ended up being black diamond. This is my garden. It's roughly 30 by 50. Last year, at that end, where the corn's at, we planted Jubilee Watermelon. Over here we planted cantaloupe last year. This year we planted watermelon. We thought we were planting Jubilee, but like I said, no, that wasn't the case. Now I want to show y'all something. We found this uh, this Sunday pass. I made a video. Um, I was, I've been having trouble uploading it, so I figured maybe I'll make another one and just make it shorter. And hopefully I'll be able to share with y'all what I've been trying to share. I've already called my farm extension and they said what I have is considered a random hybrid. This is what I have been growing in my garden. This one right here, um, when I measured it Sunday, it was 17 inches. Sorry y'all, I'm putting my stick down that I hang on to in case a snake comes after me. And now I'm trying to get my ruler out real fast. But as you can see, I am putting a tape measure and I am running my numbers. And this one is right at 18 inches. It is attached to a cantaloupe vine. This vine, if you trace it, this is one of the least that come off of it. This is a cantaloupe. But apparently last year the bees cross-pollinated and I ended up with a random hybrid in my garden. And because of what we planted here this year and the bees pollinating, um, the guy at the farm extension said I probably would not be able to get the same results if I planted these seeds. I would get something entirely different. So I have cantaloupe that look like watermelon. Um, that one's 18, so if we increase by an inch, I might have to pick this one because it looks like it's getting a bad spot on it. I'm not sure. Or that might just be like a, a wound, a scald mark. But this one is probably 17 inches. And then that one looks to be about maybe 10, 11, maybe even 12 inches. So there's only three of them. They're all right here in a cluster. And what's really funny is the watermelons that we have, which we thought were, like I said, you believe it, they're not. <laughs> round. They're round. And I've never grown black diamonds. My husband had bought some seed with the intention of planting. And it looks like he may have tried a few of it somewhere in the past and didn't like the results and never grew them again. So somehow he grabbed that pack and planted them. But anyway, so... I'll be curious. I am going to do a video when I cut these open. I have no clue what's on the inside. I don't know. Being that it's attached to a cantaloupe vine, I'm assuming the inside's going to be cantaloupe, even though the outside took on the characteristics as far as the length of, of a watermelon. Um, I'm thinking the inside should still be cantaloupe because it's attached to a cantaloupe vine. Um, some of these vines look like they're dying. I'm a little concerned. I might have to pick some of these melons sooner than what I wanted to. But yeah, it's real snaky and grassy in here. I've not seen a snake, and Lord help me if I do. I'm going to go sailing. Another thing I wanted to just comment on is the Armenian cucumber plant has finally died. We pulled off the 13 remaining ones that were on there. Um, I came rooting around in here early this morning and I pulled the root and because I was looking for bores, vine bores and I didn't find any evidence of vine bores but what it looks like happened is something chewed the green outer skin which breached it and left the way for I'm thinking a fungus got in there and killed my plant but that was the one plant and off of this one Armenian cucumber plant I ended up getting a total of 20 Armenian cucumbers and none of them were smaller than 16 inches. On average, we were picking them at 18 inches. A few of them got 
to 23 inches. They can get up to 36 inches long. But I just wanted to do this video to show y'all my random hybrid. I'm still going to save the seed from my cantamelons. That's the name I've given them. Um, and I am going to try to regrow them and see what comes up. Um, and of course he gave me a long explanation of the process of getting a hybrid and how to strengthen the gene. But it's way too complicated. You basically have to isolate two things, keep the bees from them, and self-pollinate them yourself. And it's an ongoing process. And I, you know what? It's cool. I have something cool growing in my garden. I contacted my local newspaper, brought a picture, and they're going to do a little write-up. And whenever I get that, I'm going to share it with the folks on my garden forum. If anybody doesn't know, uh, the Bayou Gardener, his name is Donald. He's also known as Web Cajun. He has an awesome garden for him. You can go on there and ask any questions you want. And somebody on there is going to know the answer. I stumped him on this one, but it's a random hybrid. Who'd have thunk it, huh? It's hot out here, and I'm ready to go inside. And I was trying to keep this video short. So, I hope um, y'all enjoyed it. I know I'm just tickled pink that I... <laughs> <laughs> that my garden produced something that you can't buy a seed from. But, oh well. Anyway, y'all have a good one.